All right, y'all. So real quick, this video is not going to be too long. I actually got class in a little bit, but this is a very important video, bro, that I want to share with everybody to all my fellas. OK, hell, even to some of the females who be in a relationship or whatnot, but specifically the guys, bro, I got to let you know, do not fall under the spell. I repeat, do not fall under the spell. Now, when we talk about the spell, there's a plethora of ways one can fall under the spell. You got the matrix and you got its ideologies and you got its lifestyle and how like the matrix and the lifestyle, it, it promotes itself for you to live a certain way. And a lot of times when the matrix tells us to, to live a certain way, bro, that is literally not natural and it's not conducive to our spirit or our soul. You get what I'm saying? Um, another form of a spell could be, you know, words. Even when we talk about how we, you know, self-talk and like when we talk to people or people talk to us, words are spells. And I keep saying this all the time. Words move uh, objects within the matrix. It may not be like a sci-fi movie, but it actually kind of you can actually move stuff within the matrix based on how you speak and based on like who you're talking to. So with that being said, and then even people talking to you, people can say certain words to trigger you to want to either do something um, in a negative way or, you know, again, we, when you talk about the spell, you have certain women who do exist that have this certain power that put a lot of guys underneath their spell. And yeah, this is before we even talk about the patch of hair, you know, before you before it even gets physical, you got guys falling underneath the spell of certain women who possess certain energies and um, are manipulative and can control one based on the fact that they are a female and they lead with their sexual energy. So this is what I'm talking about, bro. Um, a couple of things to Keep in mind while you are on the retention journey, bro. Especially if you're retaining your seed, man. Shout, first of all, shout out to all y'all. Shout out to everybody who's, you know, who joined me on the sober journey as well. That put down all their vices all together. And, you know, you're pushing through. You feel me? Shout out to you. That's a spell within itself too, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People be saying like, you know what, man? I use it to, to meditate. Actually, let's go outside real quick because it's getting a little dark. I use it to meditate or whatnot. Or I use it to do this or do that. I get it. It happens. You know what I'm saying? Cool. But you too are under a spell because you are not naturally in your natural form if you have to use foreign substances to try to calm yourself down. You should be able to do that your damn self by yourself. You know what I'm saying? I was about to sit at that table, but I seen a big ass fly. I was like, you know what? Let me go over here. All right, bro. Why the camera look like that? All right, bro. So like I was saying. So again, shout out to everybody who's on a spiritual journey doing what you got to do. Now. We got to talk about it, bro. Because <clears throat> everything essentially is energy, right? And um, when you talk about communicating, when you talk about, um, you know, talking to the opposite sex. Both sexes have a certain power. Both sexes have a certain energy. Like even you practicing retention, bro, you have the ability to put women underneath a spell as well. Based on the word choice that you use, based on, you know, the masculine presence that you bring. You know, if you if you are in person or even if you're on the phone, FaceTiming, there's certain things that you say, because put it like this, bro. If you're more your creative energy, and this is what I was talking about in my last video, which, by the way, I'm going to keep it public for 24 hours, and then I'm going to turn it to the MGT uh, membership. You feel me? Well, it's going to be members only once uh, once the 24 hours are up. So if you didn't see that, see that uh, video, definitely go watch it before. It is, I mean, if you're an MGT member, then <clears throat> you don't got to worry about nothing. But, like, I was talking about how the easiest way to turn on a female is to, you know, use your creative energy and really get deep into her mental and it's really it's not even that hard you get what i'm saying but the only way the main way to do that 
You cannot go in thinking that like, okay, I'm gonna turn her on and I'm gonna use my sexual energy to do that. Like it has nothing to do with you actually using the pure raw sexual energy. It's all about transmuting that energy into creative energy. You feel me? Creative energy. And, and it takes a lot of um, patience and it also takes a lot of discipline for you not to think with your lower nature. You get what I'm saying? So, yes, you may have the ability to do that, but I'm telling you right now, bro, in some cases, that shit can't fire back. It can fire back because certain women, like, when, basically, once you open up that portal, they will start to feed into that masculine energy. They'll start to be very feminine, and they will make you feel more masculine. They will turn you on in so many ways. Y'all could be having a regular conversation about the trees or about, like, you know what I'm saying? Um, little little bow wow do rags and shit, whatever. You could be talking about anything, bro. And what's gonna happen is when y'all are having this casual conversation, bro, y'all literally are casting spells at each other. I'ma keep it a bean. We cast spells every single day. If we speaking, you're casting a spell. Even as I'm making this video, I'm casting a spell, but it's not even like uh I'm trying to like, you know, try to attack somebody or whatnot. I'm actually just sharing sharing information. But when you talk about, you know, dealing with the female who also is aware of her sexual energy and aware of how, like, you know, how she talks and how she has <clears throat> has a way with guys. Be careful, bro. Be careful, bro. Because some of these women will try to play up to your energy and literally have you under their control. This is why you have to be self-aware. This is why you have to understand the art of communication. You have to understand, like, okay, if she's calling you just a friend or just a brother, whole time she is still casting out certain types of energies that you can't even really see on the surface and now your body is starting to react to this shit because you are on seamer attention she feels your masculine energy she feels your sexual energy that's that's been transmuted so even when you're not saying that like oh you know yeah bro i'm just chilling bro yeah that's just a homie yeah she's cool whatever they're like oh she's like a sister to me we're not all right <laughs> You 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 can you can play like y'all just friends and sisters and shit like that, but like uh, you know, energy doesn't lie, bro. Energy energy does not lie, and because you are a lot more magnetized, bro, and because you're a lot more self self aware, you are actually building attraction. You are actually building sexual tension just by consistently communicating with certain women who naturally are, who who naturally know how to use their aura their smile the sound of their voice um the fact that they have that patch of hair and everything else in between they use that shit every single day they use it every single day now some women they don't they're not gonna wake up and say oh like i'm just gonna be you know feminine and i'm gonna try to get this dude or i'm gonna try to take his non-sexual energy i'm not saying that they wake up and do it bro but sometimes when you are so much of your creative energy you actually trigger that shit bro before you know it you got certain women that's attracted to you and you you call yourself y'all y'all talking to each other now and she could have a whole dude a whole situation and everything so you just so you have to be careful number one limit how much how much time you can connect and talk to a woman especially if it's on the friendship level um because again y'all casting spells back and forth i've been in this situation bro while i was on semen retention i'm not gonna lie been in a situation where uh you know, I felt I it felt like I was like blindsided a little bit, bro. But you know, I'm thinking like, you know, I'm just utilizing my creative energy, okay? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I was talking to a certain female and you know, we had great friendship. A great friendship. It felt like it was like a brother and sister love for real. And the whole time, you know, she not gonna admit to it. And I didn't want to admit to it, but it was just certain things in between certain nuances that she was saying and certain things that I was saying that it was just like outside looking in. If anybody seen us communicating, they'll think like, nigga, y'all like each other low key. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that like it's a bad thing to have an attraction like that. But let's be honest, bro. We play. It's like we was kind of playing with fire. We was kind of playing with fire because I know damn well. I didn't have no true intention in that regard and she didn't have no true intention especially since she is dealing with other people and stuff like that so i also realized this i also realized that you know you got some women who are just not all women you got some women who will exist that will try to play the part they will try to seem like you know they're completely perfect 
they're the victim. They ain't ever do nothing. They they uh, they were the ones that's being manipulated, and um, they do a great job of making you feel sorry for them. To all the guys who are who are ruled by their lower nature, or like you know what I'm saying, because even they say like you know simps are like the good guys, bro. In my opinion, bro, if you don't know how to control yourself, and if you are are thinking with your your lower brain, you're a simp. Cause you gonna see, you're gonna simp out for somebody for a female who probably not gonna give you that patch of hair. Number one, and number two, what's gonna happen is the more y'all communicate, is the more that you're gonna feel obligated to want to help out her situation. If she plays like, okay, oh well, I need this taken care of, that taken care of. Most women ain't gonna say like, oh, I need my bills paid. Da 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 da. Some women are very strategic and they'll they'll build this 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 camaraderie with you. They'll build this connection with you. So the very second, like they dude or whatever dudes that they mess with, the very second, like that shit falls short or like they do get into an argument, uh, uh, argument or whatnot, she's going to make you feel obligated to try to save the day. And that's how you know you got got. That's how you know you fell underneath the spell. And I'm not going to lie. It was, it was a point of time. It was a couple of times, bro. Before I even knew about similar attention, bro, I used to. I bro, I'm legitimately la la di da like in my own world, and then you know what I'm saying. I had a female that would constantly just hit me up, constantly just hit me up, bro. And I'm like, okay, shit, we could talk, we could chill. It ain't nothing. Not knowing that, like, not only was she was like kind of like using me for my non sexual sexual energy, but she was building me up for when she falls into hard times. I was gonna be willing to to help. Now me, I'm thinking like at the time, I'm thinking like, oh, okay, well. <clears throat> this is my homegirl, bro. She need help. Whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and do it, bro. Ain't nobody else going to help her out. What not? Fell underneath the spell. Didn't even know it. That's how she can get information out of you. She can get money out of you. And pretty much it's kind of like, it's almost damn near, it's almost damn near the same. Well, nah, it's not the same. <laughs> it, it's similar because like when a guy usually puts a female underneath his spell it's usually big d energy it's usually uh okay he has the money he has the funds to to take care of whatnot like i got you ma i got you ma like i mean low-key that's still kind of simping if like that's the only way you can like keep her attention but like really the fact when you like if you're on retention and you really don't care and you know you're not really thinking with your sexual energy that's going to drive her crazy because again y'all already connected with each other now she wants to fuck you low-key and she doesn't know how to express it she doesn't know how to say it she don't if she never asks for money or whatnot but she's still on you and that's what i'm saying both parties got to be got to be aware do not fall underneath the spell limit your time to connecting with people on a casual level now if it's somebody that you've been talking to intimately and you know it's going somewhere then that's totally different but when you know you are trying to focus on a goal or whatnot i'm telling you bro this shit happened to me when i was like you know i think like last year too um i was on facebook and i had a couple i had this one older female dm me we went to talking or whatnot whole time she put me on, I ain't gonna lie, she put me underneath the spell. And I'm, bro, I have magnetized energy, bro. Magnetized pure energy. She already knew what time it was. She knew about semen retention and everything. She knows about how guys, like when guys become spiritual and shit like that, how powerful we can become with our energy. And she was plotting and planning. And she and she got me into a situation where I became, I developed a, a, a soul attachment or a soul tie. And I'm thinking like, oh, you know, we're, you know, we're growing mentally. We're growing, um, you know, she knows esoteric knowledge. Like, bro, just because they know esoteric knowledge, that don't mean shit. That could be a part of the spell as well. And then you actually have women who are conscious and aware of writing out manifestations, doing little certain rituals. If, you, if you're not careful, they taking, they plucking pieces of your hair and like they're doing certain things, bro. And that's above your perception when it comes to. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, you being in this realm of reality. So with that being said, bro, you know, I don't want to keep this video too long, bro. As soon as as soon as I really started to get into the meat and potatoes of this video, niggas want to park up next to me and shit. But uh, nah, just be aware, bro. Like 
limit the time that you communicate with some of these women dog some of these women literally have a roster they have other guys that's already providing already gonna look out just because she needed to pay her car note or her phone bill uh, look y'all could y'all could talk all day long but don't let her get you into the point where she got you saying you know what man i'm gonna reach into my pocket i'm gonna look out for you because you've been there for me the whole time she re she really wasn't there for you she was just buttering you up and getting you prepared so that way like when she falls into some type of hardship now you feel obligated to help her out hell no nah, let us stand on that shit bro let us stand on that shit vibe and if she stops talking to you because you don't want to help her out financially and shit like that i'm not saying be a green ass nigga but like really look at the situation like really look at the situation and pay attention especially if she already has a boyfriend or she already has a few people that like she messes with because i'm telling you right now bro these modern day women not i wouldn't say the high vibrational women because a high vibrational woman is not it's not thriving off of other guys is like you know attention and shit like that if if a guy is in uh, uh if a guy is in like excuse me not a guy if a female is in a relationship a committed a full-blown committed relationship she has no business talking to you bro she has no business you know what i'm saying bonding with you and say like oh yeah you're my brother you're my friend nah she's you you ever heard of the term the uh or not the term or just the example of like how the monkeys they they swing from branch to branch but before they get to the next branch they're still holding on to another branch it's it's like that bro these these modern day women these these succubus women oh yeah they they have to plan out their insurance bro and sometimes they might look at you as pff, nigga you got all this life force energy you're not messing with nobody you're you, you practice a retention you're sober, you have a clear mind, you're positive. Any female, <laughs> any female who's going through it right now, they need that positive energy in their life, whether they know it or not. And they're naturally gonna be attracted to you. And they're naturally gonna be like, you know what, man? You're a good person, da da da, da XYZ. Don't get caught up in the spell, bro. She's casting a spell on you. And you can easily tell, like, once your body go to like react in a certain way, if she hits you up or the vibe changed a little bit different or whatnot. I'm trying to tell you, bro. She's casting a spell. So what you want to do is the way to protect yourself is to give yourself time. Take a step back. Get back to Mother Nature. Get back to like having a day or two to yourself. So that way, like you don't have to worry about like, you know, having to answer a text message or a call. It may sound it may be hard. You're going to go through body withdrawals just like that shit is damn near like a drug. And it's gonna happen. That back and forth connection, you some of y'all know what I'm talking about, bro. Like y'all talking to certain females, you know they got a whole situation. Or do you know they wanna leave their man? You know they wanna leave they their their baby father, but they don't know how to do it and shit. So like in the meantime, they're planning their escape route. And they trying to use you as an escape route. They trying to use you as a as a as a way to help them out. And it's either they might end up they honestly that might end up being with you but as soon as they become as soon as they get with you just understand she already has another side to it. and th i'm not saying that all women do this i'm talking about the modern day women the the, the succubuses be aware and you're not gonna really even know who they are until you actually peep energy because some of them have past that you would never know about bro you would never know how much stuff they done put a lot of people through. Some women be in a situation for a certain reason. I'm not trying to bash them at all because you know everybody goes through things and it's the same thing with us, with guys. Be aware of your energy. Don't, if you know you're not supposed to be talking to a female that's in a relationship and you know that you're, for, you're the forbidden fruit, why are you still testing her? Why are you still testing her, bro? G shit, I know it probably might be fun and you probably might look at it as a game, but you're still, you're still, you're not, you're no better than the, than a, a modern day female. I'm gonna keep it a bean. I'm just keeping it a bean, bro. I got to keep it, keep it 100 on, on both sides. But with that being said, bro, if you made it to the end of this video, bro, you the goat, bro. Goat status, bro. Um, 
MGT with the your boy Moody Star, and I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk in this beautiful, fucked up, sideways ass matches. Now, first of all, I gotta say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy going within and being high vibrational. Here at MGT, this is what we do. We work on ourselves every single day. And Joe, for the outro, bro, I'm gonna definitely see you guys on the next video. Don't get caught up in these spells, bro. Do not get caught up in these spells. I'm probably gonna make this, uh, this might be a pay. This is pretty much like a Patreon exclusive too. I ain't gonna lie, um, but I, I'll, I'll have it out to the public. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I might. I still might just drop this just to let y'all know, bro. Because like this, the information I got, bro. Especially now. Again, I don't really like talking about like female attraction too much on YouTube because a lot of people be saying like, "Oh, you talk about females all the time." But I'm like, bro, like, how how did you get here? Unless you came through, you know what I'm saying? Like, unless you came through uh, underneath the, the ground or some shit or you fell from the sky. Um, other than that, bro, like, um, you know, it's, it's just mother nature. You know, and we have to learn how to manage ourselves when dealing with the opposite sex. So most of my content will be geared towards, you know, managing ourselves. And of course, you know, of course, I'm still going to be talking about retention and shit, but like, you know, I still want to keep a balance when it comes to my content. So, but yeah, yeah, bro. I'm definitely see you guys on, on the next video, bro. Peace.